What's up guys, it's time to talk about the latest Samsung scoop, the 100X Zoom is back in the game. After dropping the 100X Zoom with the Note 20 Ultra, Samsung has brought it back, but this time around, the S21 Ultra is packing the hardware to back everything up. We've got quite possibly the first ever moon camera sample of the Galaxy S21 Ultra at 50x level and in comparison to the Note 20 Ultra's 50x level, there is definitely a huge difference. The image was taken on the S21 Ultra Exynos model in comparison to the Exynos Note 20 Ultra. It was posted on Twitter and even with the compression, it still is a very noticeable difference. It seems like Samsung may have finally backed up their big claims, although we don't have the 100x zoom marketing on the back of the phone. The phone is perfectly capable of that and it's showing Samsung's best zoom performance on any phone. Now speaking of performance, you're looking at the almost final benchmark comparison between Snapdragon 888 versus the Exynos 2100 chip. The Exynos 2100 has a near 4000 multi-core score. This is apparently the final prototype benchmark. Sources close to the matter are saying that the scores could go beyond 4000 up to 4100 level. In comparison to the Snapdragon 888, inside the Xiaomi Mi 11. This is a phone that is very, very close to its official announcement. This is apparently the peak score of this chip, 3822. So Exynos has finally surpassed Qualcomm for the first time in recent years. Again, this is said to be the final prototype benchmark with the official scores could go beyond 4000 level. Now breaking news, we have brand new pricing information on the Galaxy S21 lineup and it seems like Samsung has indeed made the S21 series cheap than the last year's Galaxy S20 models. So apparently here is the leaked pricing of the Galaxy S21 family in Europe and here's how the price could be in United States. Samsung has apparently laid off $100 with both S21 and S21 Plus compared to last year's S20 and S20 Plus with the S21 Ultra slightly above $1300 price compared to the $1400 one of last year's S20 Ultra. In case you missed it, Samsung is planning to dish the charger and headphones in Europe and there's even rumors saying that Samsung might pull that off in their home market as well. To compensate that we may be getting 256 GB of base storage on all models. Again things will be very different depending on the market. Also in the news we now know why Samsung is calling their new Galaxy Buds Pro. According to a recent leak Galaxy Buds Pro will be rocking 3D spatial audio mode for videos. Special audio mode will give users a more immersive experience with audio coming from all directions. Now last but not the least, Samsung is planning to launch perhaps one of the world's cheapest 5G smartphones out there, enter Galaxy A22 5G with an expected price point of only $180. Now Samsung has yet to confirm the unpacked date which we already know is going to be January 14th. They've already confirmed the date for the Exynos 2100 chip which is January 12th and now on January 6th, they're going to be unveiling the future of their smart TVs on CES 2021. So it seems like Samsung is looking to bounce back harder than ever in January 2021. Literally in the first month of next year, we have so many devices, so many exciting things. I can't wait to see what Samsung delivers to the table. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.